I'm gonna make one more pass back to the colored umbrella and then I'm gonna oh there we go never mind oh that's there it is there's my keep there's my final keeper that's a good trout that's a good trout dude all right so the plan is to target some speckled trout it is winter fishing folks right now it is like 50 something degrees the water temp is low 50s uh, I am at actually a brand new spot I got my homeboy David trail chaser got my friend Justin over there trail chaser is a guide oh and he's already look look at that he's, he's a show off man hey pull that up again it's like you're holding your you know that's 10 15 minutes worth 10 15 minutes like that's how slow i am right i, I launch slow he i mean trail chaser is on another level of fishing when he launches kayak he's in the water within 30 seconds it takes me like 30 minutes and he's already caught a limit of specs and i'm like hey dude can you like leave some for me anyways uh the target species once again speckled trout is winter time winter fishing is about speckled trout because we're going to try to do a catch and cook a fish fry uh hopefully we can get three keepers maybe five keepers make it a limit so you guys stay tuned Okay, and they were on the beach today, huh? Yeah, like like probably just 20 or 30 feet off, you know. And I was basically just letting it, let my paddle tail just work down that drop off. Interesting. Nah, dude, he's 13. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how I feel when you tell me my <laughs> slow. <laughs> Hater. <laughs> there we go. That's a fish. There we go. Nice. Nice bite. Nice bite. First fish of the day. Oh, yeah. He's a nice keeper right there. Oh, man. Get off. Dang it. <laughs> oh well, well, using the uh, the pink paddle tail here, caught him. Felt really good. Just started, and we gotta hurry up and fish because we got we got a big front coming through right now. There we go, another one. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Another nice keeper. Nice keeper. Hopefully we can get him in the boat before we lose him. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's a nice keeper. There we go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Nice big trout. Yeah, we're going to keep this guy because we're going to have a fish fry. New place paying off on the pink paddle tail. I don't really use pink much, but I am down south where the water clarity is a little bit better. This right here is probably about 17 and a half, 16 and three quarters. We're going to keep this guy. Nice big fillets on him. We're going to keep him for a fish fry. See if we can catch four more to make a living. I would have had five, but I lost the other one. My, ch my Chinese friend. You're not Chinese, right? Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they're, they're hitting the, uh, the pink paddle tail. Pink? Yeah, pink. Pink, man. I never use pink. I don't ever use pink. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to try and make a quick speckled trout limit because look at that cloud, folks. We're going to get rained on really bad within an hour, maybe hour and a half. Hurry up. Come on, speckled trout. Hit my lure. So despite the water temp being really cold, I was really kind of like a medium retrieve, not a fast retrieve, not a slow retrieve, just right in the middle. And I caught those, well I got dumped twice, got one in the boat, lost the other one. So we're gonna keep on with that retrieve. There we go, there's a fish. Nice, 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 nice. Eh, ain't gonna be a keeper, I don't think. I don't think. Nope, no, not a keeper. This guy making a ruckus, man. Attacking that bait. Ugh, later, dude. Alright, let's try the swimmer shimmer. This will get down faster. It's nine feet here. There we go. Nice fish. Another trout. Nice. Oh, man. He ain't gonna be a keeper, though. God, I didn't even feel him hit, man. It's like towards six feet down. I guess that's where kind of they're hiding out at. There we go, another one. Oh yeah, there we are. I think they're right here. I'm like losing them. Oh man, they took my tail off, man. They took my tail off.
There we go. That's a fish. Nice. This is going to be a keeper. Nice. He's going to be a keeper. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Cut him about five feet down, sir. Another good keeper there, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what winter is all about. Speckled trout. You got to fish deep, guys. You got to fish not the shallow marshes, but fish like that. That's a nice keeper on the paddle tail, loaded up with gulp. <laughs> That's how you do it, folks. We're going to keep this guy, like I said. We need to get a limit so we can have a good fish fry. There we go. Nice. Oh, wow. Here we go. That's another keeper. Oh, uh, no, he's not going to be a keeper. He's not going to be a keeper. Look at that. Yeah, the, the thing hey, is, the trail chaser. Oh, 18 yeah. inches? 14 and a half. Man, you're a hater, dude. All, <laughs> all right. Actually, I, I agree with uh, my buddy David this time. But this is like, golly, six, seven you know, trouts know. already. There we go. That's a good fish. That's no, it's not a good fish. He just felt like a big dude. <laughs> that felt like a big fish, but there ain't no big fish, folks. All right, I lie sometimes. Look at that. This dude gotta be like three inches, <laughs> but he he nailed it like a 25 incher. I'm gonna make one more pass back to the colored umbrella, and then I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Oh, that's there. It is. There's my keep. There's my final keeper. <laughs> That's a good trout. That's a good trout, dude. That's a good trout. Wow. He's going to be maybe 18 and a half. Maybe close to 19, man. But David says he's like 5 inches. All right, man. What to come through clutch. I was about to pack it up, man, because I was getting tired. And, and it's just almost time to go. Didn't want to spend too much time out here. But that's a, that's a giant. That's a giant, dude. That's a big, healthy boy right here. And we're keeping this guy. Well, if he's 20, I'm gonna let him go because I don't keep anything over 20. Just because they're le they're leg egg, egg layers, egg layers, egg egg lay. You know what I'm talking about. All right, this is going to be the the biggest one today for sure. 18 inches. 18. That's being conservative. 18 and a half by pinch of tail. That's a good looking trout there, fellas. That completes my fish fry today. All right, happy people back from the fishing. What a great day to be on the water. I encourage you guys. If you have the chance, get a kayak boat or even bank fish, wave fish, whatever the chance you have to get out in the water and go fish for some speckled trout. Speckled trout in the wintertime is the best and they are one of the best tasting fishes out there in our Texas coastal waters, man. You can so diverse, you can cook them in any way you want. But anyways, we're gonna make it simple today because I don't know if you guys have been following me, but in the past, I've tried to feed my youngest son. My youngest son, he absolutely hates fish. I mean, he just, it's, it's an understatement. He just despises it. So I'm going to try to cook up these speckled trout that I caught today, cut them up and make some great tasting tacos. I'm going to put a lot of spices because I got to hide that fish taste. I bled them out. I filleted them, all that good stuff. So hopefully he'll be able to enjoy it today. And I'm just cooking for my whole family because, you know, I appreciate everything they've done. But here we go. Check it out. Here's the fillets. We got them all cut up, bled out, clean really nicely. We got the peanut oil right here. We got a simple dish. She doesn't load up a video Stop. because. Okay, anyways, right here. <laughs> and then check you it out. Check it out, folks. We got some tortillas. We got some queso. We got some jalapenos. Some Mexican shredded cheese right here. Some more pico de gallo. Oh, well, I guess I thought I had pico. And here's the magic, the magic spice. The chupacara, chupacara rub. Got some seasoned fish fry. So this is gonna add some more flavor to it. Got some lettuce. As you guys know, fish fries, they don't take that long at all. So this is gonna be a really, really quick catch and cook. The only reason why I'm doing it this way to make it simple and tasteful, once again, is to try to trick my son to eat some fish. Cause if he doesn't eat fish, he's gonna get the belt. Okay, I'm gonna to cheat too. I'm gonna to show you guys. I have some chicken tenderloins right here. I'm going to also fry these up in the same seasoning. So, in the event that my boy does not eat my fish, at least he's had some Chick-fil-A wannabe chicken strips. Real quick, while well, I got some three eggs, I beat it into this bowl. 
So this is gonna be the adhesive that sticks the flour or the batter. Got the fish right here. And I got my peanut oil. I had it sitting for about maybe less than two minutes already heated up. Oil heats up really fast if you remember in chemistry class. And get the fish. These are the speckled trout. I already cut them up into smaller pieces. So it's gonna be really easy. We're gonna soak them in the egg. Now this bowl is not big enough, but uh, we're gonna soak as many as we can. That soaked up really nice like that. Like that. All right, next, we're gonna get our fish fillets, or fish strips rather, for the tacos, and just dip it into the, the sauce right here. We're gonna close it up like so, and just mix it up, just like that. And like I said, this is a mixture of that batter, just cheap seasoning batter and the chupacara mix. Uh, not too much chupacara because it's pretty spicy, in my opinion, a lot of guys will disagree. But there we go, just like that. Right here, look at that. Look at that happy people. Doesn't that look good? Right there, and then we're gonna drop it in there. And then we're gonna keep on doing it. I'm gonna load up more fish fillets in this bag um, because uh, so we can knock out a lot at the same time and conserve time because these are gonna cook really fast. As you can tell, look, it's already cooking really fast. As you see guys, I mean these fish that I just dropped in here, they cook super, super fast. You gotta be careful, be mindful. Fish cooks much faster than chicken or meat. Within like maybe less than a minute, they're already done. Look at that. Look at that people, doesn't that look awesome? That's the side here. Dude, that looks freaking amazing. Look at that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, look at that, all ready to go. I already taste tested this and it's absolutely amazing. If my son doesn't eat it, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I really don't taste any fish at all. It's just, it's just so delicious. Kind of tastes like chicken, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, cooking the tortillas and make the tacos ASAP. Okay, so the tortilla's ready. Pretty much the taco is done. I'm gonna grab a piece right here. I'm gonna go, go ahead and taste test it first, make sure my younger son doesn't die. <laughs> All right, grab some fish right there, like so, just like that. Let's go ahead and move over here. Grab some lettuce. Put a little bit of lettuce on there, a little bit of greens, some fiber. Next, we're gonna grab some pico. Let me get a spoon. All right, here we go, some pico. A little bit of pico, put a little bit of spice on it, just like so. And a lot of people really don't like putting cheese on their tacos, but I'm American, I do. <laughs> Plus I'm Asian, <laughs> we just, we like cheese. So open that up just like that. Sprinkle a little bit of the Mexican cheese onto the taco, just like so, just like that, like that. And that's my version right here. Very good. You can put any other sauce like sriracha, mayonnaise, whatever you wish, tartar sauce, I don't care. You can get creative, but this is how I like to do it. It's pretty simple. But uh, man, let's just dig in. I haven't eaten tacos in a long time, honestly, people. So I, I don't know what to expect. It's been a while since I've done the catch and cook on my videos. So this is a, a nice treat. <laughs> mm. Excellent. Oh my God. You don't even taste the fish, man. I mean, it's so good. Uh oh, bone. <laughs> you gotta be careful of bone. Oh my God. That's probably one of the best ta tacos I've ever made. Catch and cook, man. I love speckled trout. Speckled trout is, like I said, one of the best tasting fish in the Gulf. And it's so versatile. You can cook it. The meat's so soft. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So. All right, so the, ne the next test is obviously going to get my son to try it out because like I said, he absolutely hates fish. So let's calm down. Joseph, come down here. 
Come here, son. Mm -hmm. Everyone, this is my youngest son, Joseph. Last time you saw him in one of my videos, this was like over a year ago. He hates fish, right? So I'm gonna make you a taco that you're absolutely gonna love. You don't even taste the fish, it's so good. You have to try it because everyone's watching you. All right? Okay. So let's go and make one. <laughs> let, me have, let me see some more enthusiasm than that. Give him a nice, nice piece right here, small piece like that. We're gonna dress it up. Joseph, what do you want? You want some lettuce? Lettuce, you want cheese? Yeah. How about some pico, like tomatoes and onions? It makes it taste pretty good. No. No. I recommend you try it, it's pretty good. Just try a little bit, okay? Okay. There you go. I guarantee you won't even taste the fish. Just eat it right here, people wanna okay. see. Okay. Tell me what you think. Hmm? Hmm? No, you're a liar. Don't lie. Everyone's watching you. You're still eating fish. You don't taste no fish. You're eating fish right now. You're saying you taste fish? It's you're just... I've been eating fish for like 10 years. Just saying you're not even 10 years old. Keep eating. Tell me what you think, honestly. You just took one bite. It's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. If you really hated that fish, and I know I fought with you many times during dinner, if you really didn't want to eat some, you would not eat it. Take another bite. But you're taking another bite that tells me you like it. High five. It's good, right? Honest. Be honest. Is it good? I don't taste any fish. You don't taste any fish, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good, right? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Approved by my... How old are you again? Ten. Ten years. <laughs> ten, sorry, I <laughs> three kids, man. It's hard keeping ages. Approved by my ten-year-old son. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you comment if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button. Join me on my fishing adventures. And thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.